Hello everyone, good morning. By the way, I'm Eduardo Golfan, and in today's video, guys, let us continue this series of tutorial. We are now in creating of the reports. By the way, I will show you my three methods of creating it. But before that, if you are new to this channel and want to learn more about Microsoft Access, then guys, you are in the right channel. Please subscribe if you have not yet. Subscribe. Now, this is my first method. So, open this product master list form. Then, highlight the necessary fields, then control C for copy, then let us go to create, then blank report, and here we go, then right click, go to design view, then control B to paste, and here we go guys, uh, let us adjust, then click this report property, then press E for, for property sheet, Okay, that's the shortcut guys for uh, property. And then go to data, then let us select the source. So the source guys will be the product master list. Okay, now let us see. Here we go. So we have now the reports, but let us clean this report. Okay, thing like this. And then Okay. And by the way, I will uh, pop up this. Yes. So let's try. Here we go. But I want to maximize this report. So click this report property. Then go to event. Then onload. Onload event. Click these three dots. Then code builder. And this is um, a one-line code, guys. So, do cmd that maximize. So, the purpose of this, once the report is being opened or onload, it will maximize. So, just like this one, guys. Second method. So, click this. Then, go to create menu. And then, click this report. And once you click this, automatically, this is the style. Click this. Close, then adjust. Okay, this is so long. And then category. And then, by the way, guys, this is the the margin. So we will fit this all fields into this one fit. Okay, another one. How about this one? And then, we can also adjust this one. Let's put space. Product name also. Okay, unit measure. Product cost. Little price. Okay, expired date. Something like this. <coughs> and then, um, let us remove the space, guys. In between. So, to remove that, um, highlight and then press A4 to open the property sheet then click this format then let's go to the padding so the padding let us set to zero okay to remove the space then adjust okay then drag it's trying. Print preview. Here we go, guys. So let us adjust this one. The total. Okay. Control B. And then, um, what else? I don't like this one, guys. Uh, the alternate color. So you can change the color, or you can remove the color. So right click, then alternate color none so and also at the top okay let's try Okay. By the way, if you want to put a border 
at the top of the header or the header itself so you can highlight this and then select this uh, instead of transparent click this solid then the color also make it bold and also darker okay let's try here we go if you want to put a color let's try to put a color guys um this one okay and then um again i like to make this is um, pop up so i will change this to yes and then also maximize then close here we go guys so this is the second method now i'll show you the three methods so close this yes um report three uh, report two sorry sorry okay report one report two then um for the method number three let's go to uh, wait, we click, click this and then go to create then click this report wizard and then automatically product master list because we click this um, uh, table and then here we can select what field we want to include in the reports for example this one and then if you want to okay but in my case I want it until the okay picture uh, never mind about this then click next then groupings uh, I don't like groupings for this kind of reports and then uh, sorting I want to sort by product ID and then this is ascending then next now we have three choices of layouts the columnar we have also the tabular the columnar this is like the report one and then the tabular uh, same way the report number two but what I like guys is the uh, columnar and then uh, we have also options orientation uh, landscape or portrait but I prefer to use uh, portrait so next and then let's put report 3 okay preview or modify so let us preview first next okay so this is it and then okay this is the other sample so let now let us clean this report <coughs> okay then color is black and then I want to uniform the width the width of this text box sorry is to okay down copy paste then okay something like this then okay now I will put something like this by the way border style transparent make it solid so let's try solid again okay so now okay here we go guys but let us make it uniform so okay and then let us put space from this edge so in margin lip margin 0 0.08 okay something like that okay now we have this but let us put this okay something like this adjust you can adjust guys again okay so now <coughs> report yes and then maximize okay again now let us add this guys uh, let us close this then let us add this report to our form so click our form go to the design view 
then let us add a command button then let's put preview okay preview Then let us put a code, guys. So this code is do cmd open report. Then space, the name of the report is report number 3. So I will use the report number 3. Report 3. Then comma preview. Okay. So let's, con let's try. Okay, so preview, here we go guys, but as you can see, there is uh, page number 2, so what we want is to open the specific report for the specific products, if you want, sorry, if you want to open this, uh, the details of this um, product, so it should be or the report should be this one not all so what we will do is let us add a criteria of our report so space filter name space to skip that then condition so let's add this um, let's see okay this one this is our criteria the product ID so product ID is equals to Okay, in close with quotation and by the way guys, I have a separate video about this. I have an existing video on how to open specific reports. <coughs> so you can watch it and then uh, that's for more details about this. So let's continue. So product ID and me that product ID. So this is our criteria. So it should be the same guys. Then that's it. Okay, so let's try. Okay, open. Here we go. So no other data aside from this tomato. Next, carrots. Preview. Okay, this is it. And then we will change this. I forgot. Instead of report number three, I will change this to product details. Okay, something like this. Close. Let's search. Okay, banana. Then preview banana or product details of banana. What if when you press this, oops, there's an error. So because there's no uh, product ID, that's why we got this error. So to trap this, let's put on error resume next okay then close so if we click this preview so no more error but you can also add um, a message guys so something like uh, no uh, no records to preview let's go to the design view <coughs> so Click this button and then let's go back to the codes. Okay. If is null, me that product ID, then there's a message. Message box. No records to preview. Okay. Then BB exclamation. Then the title of um uh, the title of the error is invalid. I mean the message box on the error, so invalid. So and then what if there's um there's a product ID? So that's the time it will open, guys. So let's type else. Then don't forget to put and f. Okay. So let's try. Add, okay. No records to preview. Yeah, there are records. Okay. 
So I think guys, this is enough for today's video. In our part 3, let's do the query. If you have some questions, feel free to comment it below. By the way, please comment which methods do you like in creating the reports. And if you have any suggestion, you can comment it also. So once again, thank you and see you to my next video.